This is a fantastic video demonstrating on how to remove quite a very, very long serrated post. And um, when, you know, when, when we um, think about posts we want to remove, um, these are probably the most difficult. Maybe, you know, a, a fiber post is probably a little bit more difficult than that. Um, but this is, this, this, is, this is as tough as it gets. So this post is, is serrated, so it's got little, um, uh, like little serrations in it, but also it's quite long as well, so quite difficult to remove. So here I am removing the crown. Notice prior to this, that I took an impression of this because obviously the patient doesn't want to leave with uh, no crown in place. And um, you'll notice that it, this, this, um, this serrated post was metal. So it was really, really difficult for me when I was cutting into the crown to know when the crown ended and the post began. And you'll notice that I've created like a, a small notch in the post. Now, it's not the end of the world. It's not ideal, but um, it's, it's, it's not really s significant in the case that, you know, it's bad for the patient. It's just that when you are using the ultra when you were using the ultrasonics to um, to activate this post, um, what you want, you don't want any bumps, you want it all to be nice and smooth, so the um, ultrasonic tip um, has the maximum contact against um, the, the, the post itself, so it makes it the most efficient way of vibrating this post. So now I am using an ETPR tip. This is from the Endo Success Burkit, and I am just vibrating this post just vibrating it and at the moment you know it's not doing anything at all it's not doing anything at all and um, you've just got to really keep at it as well as vibrating around the sides um, the, the tip has like a sort of a, a con um, a concave uh, sort of aspect to it and um, you can activate the post on top of that so I've, I've vibrated it for a little bit, lots of water by the way, and I'm just trying to undermine the post now. So this is super, super early on, and I'm sort of looking anywhere around this post that I can get a, um, get a, uh, you know, like a, an excavator or something underneath. And I'm here I'm using a uh, ultrasonic tip just to see if I can get rid of some of the old cement. You've got to be careful here, you don't remove too much uh, tooth tissue, however. So, Lots, lots more to um, activation with the ETPR tip. And it's just really, really, really repetitive. You know, you've got to, you've got to take your time with it. I have seen or have been taught that using two ultrasonic tips at the same time is really really beneficial but it, but it, but in our case you know I didn't have that so this is it I'm using the tip I'm using the tip and then I see we've got a bit of movement and I think the game's on so I am um, vibrating this tip and you can just ever so slightly see there's a little bit of movement in the post and, and when I see that I, I know we're getting somewhere So just um, tr trying to undermine it as well, because if, if you've got a little bit of movement in it, it might just go. Um, this is probably more. Um, this is probably uh, more significant with um, straight-sided posts rather than serrated posts. And again, more movements. And notice I'm using that um, concave aspect of the tip on top of the post, and that's vibrating right down the middle of the post. Again, I, I use that quite a lot, and I, I think it, 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 it can work really well in, in some cases. So weirdly enough, with this particular post, it was moving quite significantly before uh, it, it, it actually started to elevate out the post. Um, and, I, and I wonder if this is, I mean, this is really, really, really loose at the moment. So you would have expected if this was a, a straight-sided um, smaller post that this will come straight out but I think it's because of the serrations that it's really locking into inside of the tooth so that is you know a lot a lot a lot of movement there and all you've got to do is just keep vibrating keep vibrating keep vibrating keep trying to undermine 
or um, elevate out the post with, um, I like to use an excavator in this case, and as you can see now, it's just starting to go, starting to just, just move out. You've got to be super, super, super careful you don't fracture this root doing this, by the way, because this is a very, very, very long post in a, in a very, very narrow root. And, um, you know, this is metal on, on tooth. And, and, and in the end, after, um, you know, too, too much pressure, you, you're going you're gonna to break the tooth before you break the post. So this is the best feeling you can get is the post comes out. And you can see how long that post is. It's huge. And also you can see all the serrations and also the... the, um, the, the all the cement that was around this tooth. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips on removing a post or you'd like to ask any questions or, you know, there's a comment section below. Comment and I will always message you back. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you soon.